Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News, we're over at the website for the National University of Singapore. Researchers there have found a way to make an air conditioning unit that uses 40% less electricity. Now, it's combining two pretty old technologies. The evaporated cooler, which is the swamp cooler, it's been around forever. But the problem with those is they add way too much moisture to a room. And when it's already hot out, that humidity can make it seem all the more miserable. So they added what they call a membrane dehumidification module. So they use a paper-like membrane to actually suck moisture out of the atmosphere. Then they recycle that moisture, and we'll go to the picture of the unit. They'll recycle that moisture and put it into an evaporative cooler. Now, the it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense at first glance. You take the water out of the air just to put it right back in the air, but they actually put less water back in. So it also generates clean drinking water at the end of the day. So the dehumidification makes it feel cooler. While it might not actually be cooler, but the evaporated cooler lowers the temperature while still leaving the air less humid than that that's outside. So it could be a decent little system right here. They say it can be modified for large rooms, small rooms, underground, bomb shelters, whatever you want. And uh, hey, it doesn't use a whole lot of electricity. And they talk about how 40% of electricity used in tropical regions, or 40% of the electricity used by buildings is air conditioning. That's a lot of power. And as air conditioning becomes more common and more affordable, electricity starts getting to more tropical regions that may have not had it before, the demand for it is just gonna get bigger. So technologies like this could go a long way towards having a more sustainable air conditioning system. Now, while this couldn't really be used for uh, refrigeration techniques like it could be used for refrigeration possibly in the future um, you might not need a membrane for the dehumidification maybe a desiccant like diatomaceous earth or silica gels all those little silica gel balls could be a good way to get moisture out of the atmosphere but how are you gonna put take the moisture out and use it as drinking water that might be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to link to this article in the description if you want to read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.